So this will be kind of a final event report on, uh, on my friend here, Stenkai. As you can see, it had kind of a rough last match. Um, so for the matches, the first match uh, against Bullion, um, we got out of that match with essentially zero damage. Everything worked just like it was supposed to, no problems. Um, so it, it, was, it wasn't, Bullion wasn't a very hard opponent as far as the damage it could make. And so it really wasn't much of a test of the robot. Uh, the next match was against Chaos 3, and it's, it had a, kind of a good little little drumette on the front of it, and so this was the first time where we were up against something that could, could actually damage us. And we had a couple of exchanges. They'd lost one side of their drive. It looked like another match that uh, we were going to win, and they managed to catch the corner in the front and flip it up, and in the process of doing it, when it landed... This back panel kind of bent in just a little bit. And we had these mounts set up so that we could, the robot wouldn't stand on its butt, it would fall back down. Uh, but once that, once that top piece got bent in, there was just enough to keep it balanced there. And we ended up losing that match as we got stood up on the, on the back. And, you know, good for them. They, they got the hit that they wanted. Uh, but, you know, it was kind of frustrating on our side. For the next match, we had that issue that we had to obviously address in the back, and we were fighting a, a very low wedge robot in Piranha. Um, and so the decision was made to weld some little wedge pieces on the front to try to get under them, and in adding that extra weight on the front, we ended up having to take the eye assembly off the back. The eye assembly is kind of heavy. So this whole piece mounted back there is about nine pounds. And so we were close enough to max weight that when I added that extra stuff on there, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't leave this on and still make weight. It still had to be legal for the class. And honestly, this much weight back behind the tires, every time you would accelerate, the, the front of the robot would pop up, which is the worst thing you can do with a, with a wedge. So taking this weight off and adding some weight on the front helped the robot drive better. Um, so in the match against Piranha, it actually did drive fairly well, and we did get the victory in that match. It wasn't a super exciting match, but we did get the victory. And then we ended up fighting Manta, which was the overall winner for the heavyweight class at this event. A very tough robot. And, well, you can see the end result from that. Um, we added an extra piece of steel up front to try to get under the weapon, which is really the only chance that we had. And it did work a couple of times but he managed to catch the edge of it and bend it up. And then from that point on, we were toast. So all of the, all of the damage you see across the front was just from them beating the snot out of us. Um, this, is the, this is the drive motor that got cut out of this side of the robot. Um, <laughs> they're, they're supposed to look like that, okay? So it, so it, it, it got... Uh, it got Walloped pretty good. In fact, this is the first time I've had one of these tires pulled apart like that. These are usually pretty tough. So those were some, those were some good hits. The brush housing actually got snapped off. It's still hanging out in the robot, okay? But it broke all the, broke all the mounts for it, whatnot. Interestingly, most everything is still working. So the drive motors were were ruined. Um, but if I just replaced those, the weapon assembly, it still functions just fine. All the electronics still work. Everything here was still functional. And it really, if, if we had to continue to fight, it would have made a very simple uh, bit of repair to get it. The, the hardest part would be trying to straighten out stuff up front. Uh, but the, the match against Manta was our second loss, and so we were uh, eliminated from the tournament. So what does that mean for... Stink Eye's future. Um, 
most of the internal parts are still functional. So the speed controllers are good, the electronics are all good, the weapon motor's fine. The weapon itself is still, you know, it's got one, one little chew mark there. This is from Manta, they did that. Um, but all in all, everything is still complete. The problem is it was never really meant to be a competitive robot, and I really don't have any interest in like rebuilding it or doing anything with it. So I, I, I made it for this particular event for the fun of it, and I had fun. It was a great thing for me to build and play with. We put on a great show. The big eye driving down the arena was awesome. So it did the things I was after. At this stage, I don't think this robot, at least how you see it, will ever run again. The weapon is too good to not use again at some point. But if I did, I'd probably build a new frame all the way around it rather than try to reuse one of Tombstone's old busted frames. So you may, you may see this again. And if you see it again, I don't know. I may still stick with the name Stink Eye. So it's possible you could see a Stink Eye robot again, but it will never look like this. And in fact, this particular, once I take the components out of it, this one will probably just end up going to the dump. There really isn't anything here for me to save.